Sometimes I hate it when I need to take a picture and I'm on record. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay. And we have our ovaries. This is the ovaries. Ovaries. Right? Um, attached to the ovaries, we have the fimbria. Fimbria here. Yeah. They're like little fingers, like grabbing onto the ovary. The little fimbria, this pink thing here. And unlike men, there is, there's no direct tube from the ovaries to the fimbria. Okay. In men, they have like a direct tube, like the sperm are made and they're shot into a tube directly. Okay. Us, we ovulate an egg and the little fimbria have to catch it and pull it inside. And it's weird. Okay. So the fimbria are like little catcher's mitt, like, here, hold on, ovary, I gotcha, egg, you can do it. <laughs> okay, so there's the ovary, there's the fimbria. Then the tube coming off the fimbria is the fallopian tube. Okay, mm -hmm. So there's the fallopian tube, too. Fallopian tube. Let's make sure I get this right. Um, okay. Then there's some, I hate this model, it always comes apart. I'm going to wrench. Um, okay, this ligament right here, this is the broad ligament. This is a ligament, the broad ligament. And it's got some portions to it. Let's make sure I get them right. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, okay, I got it. Okay, um, we have the meso-ovarium. This bit of ligament that actually goes over the top of the ovary, the meso-ovarium. Meso okay. And then between the fallopian tube and the ovary is the mesosalpinx, going between them, the mesosalpinx. So where my finger is sliding is mesosalpinx. Between what? It's between the fallopian tube and the ovary. It's the mesosalpinx. And then it looks like there's a tube coming right off the ovary going toward, this is the uterus. Right? It looks like there's a little tube coming off the ovary. Right? But that's the ovarian ligament. This little tube, the ovarian ligament. You see it? You see it? You see it? See? It looks like a little tube, but it's the ovarian ligament. Okay. Here's the uterus. Most everybody got it right on the practical. The uterus, that's where the baby's kept. It's where the baby's cared for. Mm -hmm. It's where the baby's nourished. So funny. My one of my friends is pregnant and she said she went on she's got she's gonna have a little boy. She tweeted that she was going on a walk with her men. She was like one held my hand and one just swam. <laughs> it's just so cute. <laughs> it's just so stinking cute. Now I go to stores and I want to buy every single little thing. Um, okay. <clears throat> My finger is in the vagina. Finger's in the vagina. In the vagina. Okay. And this donut shaped thing in there, that's the cervix. Okay. The donut shaped thing is the cervix. This is the cervix. <clears throat> and the hole going through the cervix is the cervical canal. And they can tell whether you've had act, whether you've actually had a vaginal birth by the shape of the cervix. Which is kind of, I'm like, that's kind of cool. It's kind of. Huh? It's probably like all like. Yeah, it gets misshapen. Yeah. Uh huh. When you put a watermelon. Yeah. Something to look forward to someday. <laughs> okay, um, so here, let's look at this one. Okay, so on here, right, we can see... Sorry. Oh, my hair is going away. See the ovary there? There's the ovary. The ovaria. Ovary. Ovaria. I was going to say fimbria next. Okay, with the fimbria attaching to it, and then you've got fallopian two coming off. And it's going to the uterus. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this this big thing here, this is the uterus. Oh, this small thing, right? Okay. The uterus one okay. thing. So we open this up. Yeah. This hair. Okay. Just 
got it cut so it's like fluffy. Um, so here's the uterus right there. This thing right here, that's the cervix. You can. <laughs> There's the cervix. Okay. With the cervical canal running through it. So the cervix and the cervical canal. Okay. And then coming down this way is the vagina. Okay. Um, the opening of the vagina here at the bottom is the vaginal vestibule or the vulva. The vulva just like vaginal vestibule just sounds like nicer than vulva. But it's the opening of the vagina. Um, this thing in front of the, yeah, it's in front. This thing in front of the uterus, that's the bladder. Okay. So the tube coming out of the bladder. Urethra. The, the urethra, right? And the opening of the urethra is the urethral orifice. <laughs> the urethral orifice. Orifice is a fun word. I like the word orifice. Okay. okay. <clears throat> then we have, let's see. We have the labia. Okay, so we have the labia majora is the big one on the outside. Okay. And in between is the labia minora. The little tiny one. So labia majora, labia minora. I guess Kathleen told me that there's there's like, you know, older women who get like the labia get like saggy and squishy and they'll get like Botox and yeah <laughs> Botox or plastic surgery to make them all plump again <laughs> freaky yeah. um, then there's at the front of the labia over here is the clitoris the clitoris is this little tiny thing here the clitoris can you see it little clitoris there and it's made up of some erectile tissue that's called the corpora cavernosa clitoridis. Clitoridis. Yeah, the corpora cavernosa clitoridis. And if you need, I can write it on the board. And it's actually homologous to some erectile tissue in the penis. And we'll get to it. So what's this? The ovary. <laughs> the ovary. The. Sorry, go away. The fimbria. The tube coming off the fimbria. Fallopian tube. We have the. The uterus. This, the donut shaped thing here. The cervix, the hole through it, cervical canal, the vagina, the opening, the vaginal vestibule, or the vulva. What's this? The bladder, the urethra, the opening, the urethral orifice, okay. the little one. Labia minora, labia majora, the clitoris. Cool. Okay. Women are pretty. We're pretty simple.